Would I fight Bokao if the chance arose? It's a good question. Somebody mentioned in the comments today that they would like to see me face this kickboxing legend, Muay Thai legend, and I've been actively seeking a fight with Sanchai. That's a fight I want, that's a fight I would do in a heartbeat. But would I fight Bokao? I have fought some pretty big names in the kickboxing world. Probably one of the most recognizable is Lerdzilla, who like Borkao is from Thailand. And like I said, I've been actively seeking a fight against Sanchai, trying to make that happen. We'll see if that can come to fruition in 2024. But what I wanna do for this episode is I want to highlight my strengths, Borkao's strengths, and go, is there a chance for me to win? And if so, would I consider fighting him? Because I've done an episode previously where I talked about three people in the kickboxing world who I would not want to face. Now, all these guys are a weight class above me, and that includes Bukau. And that is a big reason to not fight this guy when somebody has 10, 15 pounds on you. And we're at that super high level. Weight makes a difference. And I'm not unrealistic when somebody says to me, would you fight Bokao? I usually go, no, he's at a different weight class. But one of the things that I have to recognize is with Bokao, as long as you don't get KO'd, because that's a lose situation. I don't want to get KO'd ever in my fight career. But aside from that, it's really a win-win situation, right? You go in and you defeat him. Everybody's like, whoa, what the heck? Kind of like when I beat Lerdzilla. Not many people thought I could do it. But if you lose, people are like, oh, you know, you went and you fought Bokao. And of course, he's like one of the best in the world. We didn't expect you or we knew that it was a tough task and you just did very well getting in there against him and going the distance. So what I wanna focus again on is what are his strengths? What are my strengths? My strengths in the ring are number one, really good cardio. I can usually push fighters to a point where they start to fatigue and then I'm able to take over the fight. The problem with that strength is I don't think I've ever seen Bokao fade in a fight unless maybe he was in the midst of his K1 career right in the heyday of it and I was actually there training with him one time and he wasn't training very hard and that was the one fight, the only one fight that I know of where he actually got KO'd. He took some mean knees to the body, his back leg got chopped and then he took a punch to the face. But aside from that, I don't know if this guy really tires out the way that a lot of my opponents would. And because of that size discrepancy and him being a little bigger, I don't think I'd have the ability to really bully him. So that kind of takes away one of my greatest assets, my greatest strengths. And everybody remember, this is the last day. The last day to get registered for the defense course. If you have not done that, you need to click the link in the description below. Head over to Varga Combat and check out everything that I'm offering. All the videos are gonna be pre-recorded, which you can follow along with. The live calls where you can bring your questions. There is gonna be so much information in this course. One of a kind. This is a one of a kind course focusing on defense, which I know is not as sexy as cool, fancy offense and clinch and throws and spinning kicks and blah, blah, blah. But defense is so important. That's why I made this my first course. I truly believe everybody should improve their defense so much. So click that link and get registered. The course starts on Monday. Another great strength that I have is diversity in my techniques. So when I go on the attack, I very rarely just throw the same thing over and over. I mix up the spinning back fist, go to the low kicks, throw in the scissor knees, put together the boxing combos, try and throw some Muay Thai round kicks up to the bicep. I try to bring it all. But Bokao is a veteran and he has fought pretty much every style you could possibly fight. And I don't think anything that I would bring in terms of diversity and attacks would surprise him. Like he's done the Dutch fighters, he's done the Chinese fighters who are sometimes a little jerky and awkward. He's fought Muay Thai fighters, he's fought fighters from North America, Australia, Japan. I mean, I'm not sure that my diversity is going to be a massive asset anymore against somebody like him. Now my greatest punch or my greatest weapon often is the left body hook. I can usually land that very well. Thing is, once again, I don't think I've ever seen this dude really get hurt 
with a punch to the body. Yes, the knee to the body hurt him, but he wasn't training as hard as he should have been, mostly because at that time, injury. So if I go, oh, I have to throw this, but there's little chance of hurting him because he has those abs of steel, Again, it takes away a weapon, which is usually a great asset to me. And honestly, a big question if somebody came to me and said, you can face Bokao, big question would be, are we talking Muay Thai rules or are we talking kickboxing rules? He just fought yesterday under kickboxing rules, so he is still willing to go and do that. But the idea of facing him with Muay Thai, where he can initiate his throws and elbows and such, I'm like, ooh, that's a really tall order. Now, Bokao's strengths are definitely, I don't wanna say limited. It's not like he can't do a lot of stuff, but really his strengths are his kicks and his clench. If you can find a way to neutralize his kicks, as people like Andy Sauer or Albert Krauss tried to do by blocking and then striking black back, that's great. But the best have tried this against him and he's just so good at kicking and kicking and creating space and then falling in and throwing knees and then recreating space and throwing the kicks. Very hard to be like, oh, I'm gonna go in against this guy and simply block his round kicks and try to outbox him. And his hands have developed very well throughout the last couple of years and it just wouldn't be super easy even boxing this guy at this point. Plus, he just has an iron head. Like whatever you hit him with, I just don't know if it's gonna do much. The fight I was watching uh, from yesterday, the guy clips him with a big left hook, his head gets snapped back, and then he's just right back in there. The dude is tough. So going into a fight with him, would I take it? I think I would. As long as a few little things were established, like, okay, we're doing kickboxing rules. I don't know if I'd want to fight Muay Thai with him with the size discrepancy. And weight would obviously be an issue. He came down a little bit when he faced San Chai. I don't know if I'd want to fight him at like 155 or 160 pounds weigh-in. So if there was some other way to, breathe, or to find a middle ground, that would be ideal. And then going into the fight, I think my main goal would be basically go in there, put in my best effort, but keep those darn hands up and do not get KO'd. And be in really darn good shape, try and push him crazy hard. And just like when I fought Lordzilla, when I faced Amrani, um, Kevin Ross, all these guys, my mindset was always just go in there and do my best. That's always it. Not like I'm walking in like, yeah, nobody can beat me. And I was just like, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna train my hardest, and I'm gonna do my best. That would be my attitude against somebody like him. Again, this is not a fight that is actually actively being talked about. We're not trying to negotiate it. It was just a comment that came up and I went, ooh, that's interesting. And I wanted to talk with you guys about it. But the San Chai fight, that's one that I really do want. I really hope that before he retires, we can make that happen. He's not fighting the top tier dudes anymore that often. So I feel like that's why things are not moving along very fast. Why is he gonna face people who will give him a challenge when he can face easier people. And he deserves that at this point. If he wants to continue fighting but doesn't want to take super hard fights, I'm not gonna criticize him. He's fought so many guys, he's had so many good battles, he's proved time and time again that he is one of the very best ever. Have some fun, go in, throw around some guys who are not that great. Of course, but I will be there if the fight is ever offered. So let's call it everybody. Thanks for joining today. As always, train hard and I will see you back here soon for another video.